To say God is good is too simplistic. For Jews, that is a challenging question. What we basically say is, God is good to us. That's different from saying God is good or proclaiming that God is good. If God is good, then where does evil come from? According to Judaism, all is from God, both good and evil. Isaiah puts it like this. In chapter 45, verse 7, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Everything comes from God, good and bad, darkness and light. It is far too simple just to say God is good and leaving it at that. It's way too simplistic. On the other hand, God isn't evil either. Again, when it comes to perfection, this indicates that there is some sort of scale that ranges from imperfect to perfect, just as claiming that God is good compared to God to a scale that range from bad to good. But these scales do not weigh God. God cannot be compared to anything else. Otherwise, God would cease to be God. The all-knowing is a question mark. It is said that God is both the knower and the knowledge, which is the same as being all-knowing. However, once again, this is on a scale we human can comprehend from ignorant to knowing everything. And again, God is not measured on human scale or otherwise compared to man. We cannot attribute positive attribute to God because doing so places it on a human measurable scale according to a very renowned rabbi and scholar named Rabbi Moshe Ben Matzel, I hope I said it correctly, commonly known as the Rambah and Mamontri, I can't pronounce it well. We cannot say God is good. We can say only the negatives. We can say God is not evil. We cannot say God is all-knowing. We can only say God is not ignorant. This is a shortcoming of human language and human imagination. Since only God is capable of fully comprehending God. If we could fully define God as God's self, we would be God. Therefore, as human, we do the best we can. And when the Torah says God was angered, that's because if a human said, behave the way God is portrayed in the instance, we humans will understand that the other person, another human, was probably angry. However, we are not dealing at all with another human. Furthermore, just because we read what God has said or done and it has been recorded, it is just what those look like to humans. And it does not necessarily mean that this is what God is actually doing. We don't just don't know, we cannot know.